A worldwide IT outage is continuing to impact systems here in New York, which means the capital region. Yeah, it's been a mess. CBS 6 was first at Albany International Airport on Friday as airlines scrambled to adapt. And now our Olivia Jaquith is live in Albany this morning with new insight from a cybersecurity director. Olivia. Yeah, so Matt Malone with Vistrada tells me this all happened because of an update that was pushed out by a software company called CrowdStrike, but didn't go through the proper checks. In other words, it should have been caught in testing. So many of us probably have CrowdStrike on our computer, but if you're like me, you had never heard of it before this. Malone says it just runs in the background, stopping viruses. But in this case, it acted like a virus itself, shutting down access for Microsoft users all over the world. Right here in New York, Governor Kathy Hochul says 911 operations are still working, but many government agencies are having access issues, like the DMV, for example, unable to process some transactions. And this morning, Delta canceling more flights in addition to those we saw Friday and over the weekend out of Albany International. But Malone says there could be a silver lining to all of this. I think the fallout of this is going to be the whole nation kind of figured out, oh my God, we are vulnerable. And from a cybersecurity perspective, I'm glad to some degree that that kind of happened because it wakes people up and complacency, you know, you can drive and text and you'll get away with it for a while until you get killed in a car accident. And Malone says that's why it's so important to make sure that we have backups in place. And that also could mean diversifying the technology we use. For example, if you're an Apple only kind of person, maybe try switching it up with Linux or Microsoft. That's so good advice there, Olivia. But do we have any insight on how long this will all take to fix? Yeah, so unfortunately, the update kind of went out over the cloud, over the Internet. You didn't have to do anything in person. The fix has to be done in person. So Malone says that means however many computers you have for us in the newsroom, for example, we have our IT team going through to each of those computers manually to try to fix this, which is something that could take weeks.